Hi folks, welcome back to The Horde. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to answer a few um, subscriber questions. Just to, uh, and sometimes it's easier to show you guys things than, um, than talk about them. Uh, I'm not the greatest typist in the world. Um, and it takes me a, a long time to type a lot of things. Um, just quickly, uh, a lot of you guys have joined more recently. Um, I obviously like Honda stuff, generally speaking. I have mostly Honda stuff. There is an occasional, that's a Yamaha, and that's a Kawasaki. I don't know if there's any Suzuki's in the, in the horde. Mostly it's Honda stuff. Um, generally speaking, I do not get rid of any of the Honda stuff. Um, and generally speaking, if you have a Honda three-wheeler and all you need is some special part, um, like a front brake drum, uh, who doesn't need a front brake drum or who doesn't need a set of rear hubs, right? So... You know, a lot of the parts you need, I also need. So generally speaking, I normally don't part with anything. Uh, some of the stuff that's really, really hard to find, plastic. Frequently I'm asked for plastic for um, a TRX 200 SX. Um, you know, 1986 vintage. A few things. First of all, that bike is now 30 years old. Uh, second of all, um, a lot of kids had those bikes, so they beat the plastic up pretty good. Thirdly, the plastic wasn't very good, and it wasn't put on there very, very well, so generally speaking, it's trashed. And uh, lastly, I need it <laughs> for my current tour, so should I find any... You, you know, I'll probably be hanging on to it. So, so there's there's just generally speaking. I, I mean, not that I want to be difficult about parts, but a lot of the parts you guys need, I also need. And because I have a horde of bikes that I'm trying to put together, normally I need them in multiples. I mean, continue to ask uh, for a lot of the electrical parts. You could get them from China. Generally speaking, um, I get my parts one of two ways. Um, I buy a, a whole bike or most of a bike. A lot of that stuff comes from Craigslist. Um, I've had some luck with OfferUp. And some of my subscribers help me out. We trade and swap things. And uh, that helps me get parts. A lot of my subscribers find themselves with Honda stuff that they don't necessarily want. But they're interested in a generator. Or they're interested in cash. Or, you know, something else they see around the hoard and we work out a deal. So, just, just a couple of questions there. Other questions. I've been asked, and this one's particularly interesting because I had to put some thought into it. I was asked, um, one of my uh, subscribers out of Australia, he has a Honda, I think it's an XL185. Basically, he has... Oh, God. I mean, this is going to be a 200S, but he basically has 90% of this motor bolted onto an XL185. The difference is Kickstarter, um, and, and really, that's about all the difference. It has a CDI ignition system, um, and there you go. Anyway, he updated the bike with gauges and a few other things and uh, he needs 12 volts instead of 6 volts if you guys are familiar with older motorcycles a lot of them if they did not have electric start they ran on 6 volts um, for $11 and you're in Australia I mean this is coming out of China right China if you're a certain political official. Anyway, what this does is DC to DC converter, regulator. Um, you could put 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 volts. It steps it up to um, 12 volts. See the little package there. 
So it tells you what goes in and what comes out. 12 volts, 4 amps comes out. Um, most speedometers and gauges use milliamps. They really don't use much. Um, even with the lights and all that, especially if they're LED, you should find yourself under one amp. Um, but that kind of means if you use standard, your standard tail light burns an amp and the, uh, the headlight could burn four, five, six, ten amps, depending on what you, what you got going on there. So you're probably going to have to do some upgrading to LED. Um, I'm not sure if the XL is on-road, off-road, and I'm not sure what they imported to Australia. Some of the stuff here is different than the stuff in Australia. Let's assume it's a road bike. Um, they also, you might be able to get something with more than um, 48 watts. Though, I'm not, I'm not sure how many amps your your ignition system is going to be good for um, 6 volts 10 amps 12 amps maybe put it out there at 15 I don't even think I'd get it there but let's call it 15 amps um, which is 6 times 15 what is that 90 watts um, so you might be able to find them in this. When you're doing the search, though, the important thing is if you read the head category there, is you want to see the word step up. And you want to start with, you, you know, 6 volts or step up to 12 volts or, you, you know, you want to do a bunch of search, searches like that. So I hope this helps. So that's um, one question answered. Continue to ask if you have any other questions. I'll answer them. Another question I was asked was about um, wiring, and specifically on the um, the big red, the 250ES. Um, this is a 250ES type motor, and I'm being told you found the yellow wires, but you're talking about four yellow wires, not just three. Um, but as you look at the harness, and if you found those, if you go backwards, there's your red and black. And these wires here, this is the ground and the pulsar wires. You can see the blue and yellow on a pair of greens. Um, and by the way, most of these are fairly similar. I, just for a laugh... I um I brought up one let me turn this off. I brought up one for um this is out of a four hundred EX. I got this from uh, Captain Jerk. By the way, a good guy, go check out his channel. Um here's the pulser. Here are the coils. Notice the coils are different. These two are different than the others. All right. Um, these two coils run your CDI system. All these coils on the outside charge your batteries. If you do a quick ohm test, you put your ohm meter between these coils and ground, you're going to find 100 ohms. Um, one of you guys is working on a China quad, and you're trying to find stator continuity um, to ground, um, do yourself a, a few favors. Sometimes ground on these things um, comes out on a green wire in the wire harness. Okay, you can see the green wire next to the blue and yellow, and then you see the black and red right there. And then you see a yellow wire and a pink wire. Turns out this is only a two-phase um, stator. You have five coils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have five qu coils per phase. Ten coils in total. Five coils for phase, per phase. Um, 
you know they go out to your regulator and from your regulator to your battery but back to testing you're trying to use a test light to test these things so what you're doing as you start looking to ground as in the metal is ground or you start looking to the green wire once again sometimes they put one side of these coils to the green wire sometimes they put one side of these coils to the metal casing sometimes they put them all together um, right here sometimes they don't come together until after they leave here and get hooked to, up to the wire harness um, or sometimes they have a bolt going through and as it goes through it kind of squeezes a uh, lug onto it so so you gotta you gotta pay attention a little bit especially if the things out of the bike but generally speaking if you start probing between the stator leads right between the leads on the hot side of this and ground and it should be the metal case of the bike that's where you should see things but back to what you're trying to do you're not using a digital volt ohm meter or even an analog volt ohm meter you're trying to do it with a test light well when you have a hundred ohms in series um, and you're trying to do that chances are you're gonna have a pretty big voltage drop I mean if you're trying to I mean even if you're using a half an amp light right 12 volts that hundred ohms in series I mean it's really gonna drop your um, drop the illumination of your light if you're using an LED type um, um, continuity gauge your pro your problem with that is it you, you may have have you you're not able to see that you have a hundred ohms so you might see continuity you might not see continuity but you might see continuity because your coils are shorted right which means you got a dead short and you say oh my lights on I have continuity is it my life great or you might not be seeing continuity because the light doesn't come on well because you have a hundred ohm in series you're not able to get enough power to the light bulb all your power is being dissipated in your your coil so you're not lighting up the light um, either way you don't know you have a hundred ohms so you, you really kind of kind of got to get yourself to a digital voltmeter or an analog vote meter <clears throat> if you guys are interested I can run a quick um, tutorial on how to use these things I, I mean it's 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 pretty easy um, so that shouldn't be too much trouble I'm already out at 13 minutes if you guys have um, other questions uh, let me know hopefully this helped helped you guys um, and, and get you moving along um, Folks, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.